Well, hello there. You're watching the Gadget Show channel. I'm Chris from Techspert, and this is a big old bite of the tastiest tech news of the week. Now, first up, Motorola has had a massive one, reviving one of its old classic smartphones while also simultaneously joining the foldable phone fray. The new Moto Razr 2019 is a proper foldable phone, unlike the Samsung Galaxy Fold, for instance, which is basically a big chunky handset which then unfolds into a tablet style thing. That funky clamshell design of yesteryear makes a very welcome return indeed. So you can easily slip it inside a pocket or bag or whatever when it is hibernating and you even get a second little preview screen on the front just like the classic handset itself so you can check for notifications and the like. Now unfold this beast and the 6.2 inch OLED display kicks into life. It's nice and crisp and colourful with a 2142 by 876 resolution not to mention long and slender thanks to the 21 by 9 aspect ratio as well well suited to your cinematic viewing experiences. However Motorola has unfortunately had to make some sacrifices to get this desirable design to work so for instance it's powered by the more simple Snapdragon 710 chipset. It's got a dinky 2500 milliamp battery and unfortunately as well there's only a single camera lens on there, not a triple lens camera monstrosity like most efforts these days. It's a 16 megapixel snapper but it does come with the likes of night mode and all the usual Motorola AI smarts. And of course because of that clamshell design as well that main camera also doubles as a selfie cam when the phone is actually clasped shut. Now Motorola is claiming that the Razr 2019's bendy screen should survive the length of a contract so at least a couple of years you would hope and it's also promising a quick 24-hour turnaround service for any issues, any technical problems that you might be having with it, which is definitely reassuring given Samsung's recent wars. The Razer phone will hit select European markets in December time 2019, just in time for Christmas, with an estimated price around the €1,500 mark. So when it does land here in the UK, you can definitely expect it to cost well over a grand. Better start saving now. Now, Apple has also continued its trend of seemingly launching fresh new kit every other week or so by pulling back the curtain on a new 16-inch version of its MacBook Pro laptop. Now rejoice, rejoice, because gone is that cursed butterfly keyboard of the last few models replaced with a new Magic board. Presumably the magic part is that it won't break after just a few weeks of use. You've got some fresh new 9th generation Intel Core chipsets stuffed inside to provide a massive performance boost over the previous effort. And apparently up to 64 gigs of RAM can be slammed inside as well. So that should provide some pretty smooth running for all of your apps, no matter what you're up to. And creators will also benefit from AMD's Radeon Pro 5000M series GPUs which should really take the pain out of rendering 4K video and also keep things nice and smooth when you're just blasting through a bit of Total War on your lunch break. You do of course get a larger battery as well to cope with that boost in performance and apparently you can choose an SSD up to 8 terabytes in size. Again, very useful for creators. Of course, as always with Apple tech, you'll have to get saving up pretty damn pronto if you actually want to afford one of these bad boys or maybe just get ready to sell off a couple of internal organs. The 16-inch MacBook Pro starts from over two grand here in the UK and if you want one of those top end models well that'll cost you about 6k ouchies. And last up, Google's new Stadia game streaming service is almost here. It officially launches globally on November the 19th, but unfortunately it hasn't had the best of reception so far. Stadia will allow you to play a selection of console quality titles, but without actually owning a home console, because what you'll be doing is streaming them over the internet via Google's super powered servers. You've got full 4K HDR support if your Teddy and your Wi-Fi connection can handle it, and you can also swap over to your Pixel phone or your laptop if you want a game on the go. However, the small selection of Stadia launch titles was revealed this week and met with much derision from gamers. There's just a dozen in all, three of which are Tomb Raider titles and the majority of which have been on existing home consoles for quite some time. Of course, pretty much every single console that's ever been released has had a pretty meagre selection when they first hit stores. Give it a bit of time, hopefully things will improve quite quickly. Unfortunately, a recent Reddit Ask Me Anything with the Stadia team also revealed a few other little teething issues that we can expect as well, including a lack of family sharing and achievement support at launch. So fingers crossed, Google can expand that catalogue and also sort out these little problems in the next few weeks so parents aren't met with looks of utter disdain and horror come Christmas morning. And that right there is some of the tastiest tech morsels from the week what just was. I'm Chris from Techsburg. Go check out my YouTube channel for reviews of the latest tech. And don't forget to join me here on The Gadget Show again next week for more big tech headlines. Cheers everyone.